I am back with the perfect sleigh in a wig form that you need for this upcoming autumn season. Well, we're actually already in autumn, but you get the point. You got time to still get this hair color and rock it for the next three months until winter gets here. Anywho, today's wig comes from Arabella Hair. I'm going to show you guys what this unit looks like coming out of the packaging. I damped the wig. I did not wash it. You see it in its form now with a little bit of extra moisture to it. But it is a pure body wave wig. And these are the items that came inside of the packaging that I'm going to use today to help with my installation process. So um, putting the wig on, you do see that it is pre-plucked. However pre-plucked meaning I plucked it off camera it does come not as full but it's fuller than I would like so I plucked it out some if you get my drift so I want to make sure that all of the um, hairline hairs are out of my way so I use my pomade stick and my hot comb to push the hair back it helps with the installation process making it more neat so that way you are able to install it without your hair getting all into your glue or your spray or whatever you choose to use when installing your wig. I always like to focus using my scissors on the ear tabs to get that extra lace out of the way. So I always start with cutting my ear tabs off. Today I'm using the Ebon Wonder Lace Bond Spray. This is their adhesive spray in the original form or original formula. It's extra mega hold so it does hold your wig in place for a good long minute until you're ready to take it off. I feel like it does a great job with melting lace into your skin. So I'm using that all around the hairline. I am spraying it on top of the hair versus underneath the lace. And I'm using my comb to push all the hairs back to make sure that they're in place before I put on that melt band. So cute that they send a customized melt band when trying to install your wigs. So this is a body wave wig like I said I am going to go ahead and add more curls back into the hair I'm using this hot tools um, wand I think it's probably one and a half inch I said I wanted to look into getting one that was a little bit smaller um, but I'm pretty sure this is one and a half inch if you're looking for one I think it's a good starter tool and if you're looking for this one specifically I found it on Amazon and I did link it in my Amazon storefront So I'm just adding curls into each section of the hair, holding it a little bit so that way the curl stays a little bit longer and then I'll spray it with some holding spray. So now we're going to move back over to the lace since I got the back half of the hair curled. I use a razor after it has dried onto my forehead. I feel like it, it makes a difference instead of doing like a straight edge cut from scissors doing more of a jagged edge does help it blend into your skin a lot more seamlessly and I couldn't decide if I wanted some sideburns that's why I pulled out those little sections of the hair to see if I wanted to do that mm, I don't know yet but you'll see at the end So once I finish cutting off the extra lace, I go back in with that melt band, put it back on so that way it melts into the skin. And yes, as you saw at the beginning, I am doing a middle part because middle parts I feel like are just more pleasing on my face than a side part is. But since this is a frontal, you guys, you can do more styles with this wig. You do, you are not restricted to just a middle part do your side part do your half up half down do or be creative with the frontal add some braids and let the rest hang down whatever your creative heart tells you I do like the fact that this frontal wasn't super thick because I felt like it didn't take a long time for me to get the lace flat when I was using my hot comb. 
I could tell a difference com compared to when some frontals are very thick and when some aren't. And this one, I really love the fact that it was quick to get it flat. So once we got the roots flat, then I move on to the rest of the hair that I haven't curled yet. I'd like to shout out Arbella Hair for having some of the best hair quality in the game. I feel like every time I try one of their wigs, their hair quality is really good. I've never gotten a thin wig from them. All the wigs that I get from them last a good long time. And I do be wearing them. I mean, like, I'll wear them consistently for a week. And then maybe a few months pass by, then I'll wear it again. But they're like one of the most long lasting wigs in my collection. So I really do think they have some good quality hair. It's just never been a bad experience with their hair, shall I say. So now we've done our final, final melt band process. And now we're just trying to get that front hairline space correct and good how it needed to be. I'm pushing the hair back out of my face. So you see me working with these baby hairs, to be honest, I feel like I could have did without them. Um, but if you are a baby hair person and you felt like this wig would have looked complete, incomplete without them, then this is for you then. Because <laughs> me personally, I could have done without them. And the next time I wear this unit, I probably won't have them. Baby hairs just take too much time. <laughs> And of course, adding some makeup to the parting space to make sure it's, it's visible and all that good stuff. And the final look that you guys see is when I cut layers into the hair and I cut that off camera because I'm going to be honest with you. I did a style without them and I was like, oh, this is cute, but I feel like layers will look better. But I wasn't going to show y'all um, me cutting them because at first I didn't trust myself. But look at this final look with the layers. I would have to say it's giving. The color is perfect. Like it's brown, but it's kind of giving a hint of auburn. So it's just perfect for fall. Anywho, let me know what you guys think about this wig. And if you're interested in it, the, the link, of course, is in my description bar. Thank you to Arbella Hair for sending over today's unit. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.